Isla wants to know if science will be supportive now because of the need and if her mother who lives with her will be safe because they're doing all they can to protect her. So you can go ahead and unmute yourself if you want. So can you tell Isla, does it look like we're moving to a space where science will gain back the respect that it once had and be more supported? Is there a movement in that direction? What I'm feeling is, is all that panic energy that's going on right now. So it's, it's a confusing swirl of chaos right now. So not in the moment, down the road, the chaos and the confusion will clear. Some sanity will be returned. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we will come into a time where I see all of that partying. The sun comes out. There's these beautiful sentinel trees that are witnessing this evolution. So it's a big shift that's coming. And those big shifts are painful. That's growth, right? It's the kind of painful growth that you know, it's like when you're kids and you have those growing pains and there's nothing you can do about them. You feel it. It's just part of your body changing and you just have to go with it. So while it's uncomfortable and probably not going to be a whole lot of fun in the short term, it's a necessary evolution of we, you know, as humanity in general. So it is coming, but it's going to take time. So we all need to be prepared for that and just remember to lean on our guides even more than we have before to hold our hands and guide us through those times when it, it feels bleak and it feels dark and we can't see where we're going, but they've got us. There's that beacon of light ahead and they will guide us towards it and we'll move through this period of confusion and chaos. And then that beautiful vision of the sentinel trees and the sun coming out and the cleansing and the purifying and a new age, that's what I'm feeling, new age that's ahead of us. And it's going to take some time. I'm, I'm feeling like probably longer than any of us want it to, but it is waiting for us. And we just have to stand in our, our faith and our trust and our confidence that there is a plan for all of this and that we are moving forward and just keep doing that. So what about her mom? Will they be able to keep mom safe? What I'm getting again is, is like this swirling pot of confusion. And it's like, do your best, but there are too many things at play that are shifting right now to be able to, to know. So it's just do your best and know that in this time, there are going to be a lot of people passing from this earth. And we are all going to need to adjust to that so if we can move into that knowing that, that souls are planning to exit Earth in larger numbers in the near future and know that that's okay, they wanted to leave, this is just the way that they're doing it. So we don't need to get all upset about it because they would have left whether there was a pandemic or not. It was the time they chose to exit. So this is just as we're shifting a great many souls are taking advantage of this exit point to move on and then decide about the next incarnation. So it will be up to those of us who remain to understand and to do our best to be okay with that, to know they're fine. We don't have to worry about them. They've moved on to something better. And for us to be here and to stand again in that that faith and that confidence and trust that our guides are there for us. It will be okay. And we just do the best we can each day. So whether your mother stays or goes right now is totally up to her. And that could change. You know, she might go into it thinking, Oh, I'm staying. I, I, I don't want to go yet. I want to be here with my family and somewhere down the road that could shift. And she decides she's ready to go. And that's true for all of us. So I don't want you to feel, Isla, like that's a, you know, something on just your mom. This is for all of us. As we're going through this challenge, if we decide that we've had enough and we're ready to hit the, 
you know, the reset button and go start a different lifetime, maybe even on a different planet, who knows, but we get to choose that. So we can choose to exit when we're ready. And this is just that time when a lot of souls are going to be doing, it's a, a mass purging, if you will. So as this is happening, it will be a challenge because, you know, we're attached to these people, but just know that we can always connect with them and allow yourself permission to do that. You can connect with them in your meditation. You can connect with them in your daily life. You know, when you're driving down the road, they can be sitting in the seat beside you. Just allow that energy to be there. You can connect with all of your departed loved ones anytime you want. You know, we, we tend to feel like there's that separation, but there really isn't. It's available to us to connect with. So I just went off on this long tangent. I, I hope that was helpful. I don't know, can you unmute yourself and just let me know if that helps or if you needed something else? Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Thanks for being here. Thank you.